going on everyone Aaron here clean cuts lawn care it's uh, just before 7 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday the day after Memorial Day uh, man we worked a long Saturday Sunday Monday got all the mows done uh, this week is our non bi-weekly mowing week so we're able to get them done in three days as opposed to four days um, because our eight or seven bi-weeklies are not on the route this week. But we could have had a day off. We chose not to take one off because there's my wife right here. <laughs> She's going to be leaving um, work early and meet me on the landscape job I'm heading to. But we chose not to take a day off um, because we have this landscape job that we wanted to uh, get done. It's been on the schedule. We just haven't had time to do it, but we just sold a um, Thousand dollar mulch job and as soon as they call we want to be able to get on the job get it done with so We didn't take a day off. Uh, we worked straight through and um, That way we could get to this job today So I'm heading to the shop. I got to take off um I gotta empty the trailer and put the sidewalls on. It It's real close of not needing it, the sidewalls, but I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. All right, we got everything ready. All our tools with us for the job. Got our sidewalls on the trailer. Um, got anything I'm missing I think I got everything yeah I think I got everything and um, this took a little longer than I was hoping I wanted to be out of here about 20 minutes ago but it, it just took a little longer than I thought so heading out now got everything yeah I think so all right I've been here for about two hours um, they have a lot of trees in the backyard Actually, you can see most of them out here. You know, a lot of trees back there. So it's just constantly dropping uh, sticks and branches. You know, all, all year, just dropping them. So that's a big part of the cleanup. Leftover leaves that uh, got a, you know were accumulated after we did the big fall cleanup last year. Um, it wasn't a part of it, but... Uh, I'm raking out the garden beds while I go, you know, just want the whole thing to look nice. So raking those out um, and then that'll be the end of the backyard. I'm going to be trimming up these uh, bushes here in the front, probably shaping even those small ones here and maybe one or two over here not all of them it's just a few so um yeah we're gonna get that done then all of his garden beds he wants he asked me yesterday about uh edging them giving them an edge so i have to uh i brought my measuring wheel i have to measure exactly how many feet it is um, I'm gonna charge him a dollar a foot. I, honestly, I'm not 100% sure if that's, you know, accurate, but I just figured one for one. So, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. After doing it once, well, I mean, we've done them before, but we just kind of throw it in with the um, price of the mulch. We're not doing mulch here, but so, um, you know, when, when, when we've done it before, I just, you know, I added up all the yards of mulch. Uh, you know, obviously knew the price for that. And then I looked at the areas I had to edge and just said, okay, uh, 50 bucks, 80, you know, whatever it was. But I'm going to measure the feet here. So, all right, just taking a few minute break and getting back to it. I mean, we work back here all, you know, every week cutting the grass and, uh, but man, this is just a beautiful, peaceful backyard, you know? 
with the shade, with all the growth, all the greenery around the um, border of the backyard. It's just really, really nice. And uh, when, we, when we did the fall cleanup last year, um, I mean, it was just covered in leaves and sticks, but once we were done, you know, it looked really nice. And uh, once we get done with this cleanup, it's gonna look really nice again. I mean, it's a really nice property. This, uh, how we got this customer, um, his guy just quit showing up last year and uh, after mowing and he called us for a fall cleanup. We did it. He asked if we could handle the snow removal. We did it. As winter was ending, he asked us if we could take over his lawn care. We got that. And uh, now we just do all of his work. So year round, all the services we offer, uh, this is another one of the customers that, you know, we do year round service for. <laughs> after I was done doing the work back here because there's a lot of acorns and um, old mulch from these beds just you know a little wood piece everything and as we're mowing every week you know you hear you hear the debris going under the mower so I went through blew the whole yard out uh, to get rid of that stuff so we're not running it over every week there's a stick and there's a stick so that'll help us out while we're mowing but back here it's all done got all the big debris out all the leaves out looks pretty good two leaves right here so I'm gonna go get the front yard started now you guys see where I'm parked right and you see I moved these two recycle cans out to the street so the trucks could get to them now look how much room there is okay there's a ton of room you can get to any of these driveways except my customers that lady over there who just hired us yesterday actually to start doing her lawn next week had a fedex truck come in a sprinter van and uh i guess when he got over there he told her that he was uh, calling the police on me for having them cans out there. Now, I could bring a 50-foot vehicle in here and go right into her driveway the way it is. So she kind of was like, oh, well, you know, he's right. You can't have those out there. I said, I don't care what you or him say. I said, I, said, I put them out there so the garbage guy can get to them or maybe they wouldn't pick them up. I said, so uh, he can go ahead and call the cops. She said, well, he did. He called them. Uh, I don't care. Let him come.
got prickers all on my leg now. I'm used to. So the original job that uh, we actually discussed and um, I sold him is done but like I said he uh, he added in the redefining of the um, bed edges so I'm gonna measure those see how many feet I'll be charging him with I told him I didn't think we'd get to it today um, we have a different job we have to get to, but here's a finished look. 
at uh, today's job. Man, it just looks so good here. Not, I'm not saying the bragging about the work. I'm just saying the uh, the property itself. Oh, Vicky just got here. There's my wife. Came here to help. All right, all right. We are back at the shop. Um, like I said uh, before I cut out there, my wife showed up at the landscape job, helped me finish up. Um, I We did um, one tree ring of the edging just so he could see how it looked. We measured out 215 feet. Um, so we gave him the price, well, 210, $210. It was like 213 feet. We did the tree ring around the ring in the front. Uh, that was 24 feet, but we just wanted him to see what it was going to look like when it was done. Uh, it came out really, really good. Instead of just shoveling it out, I actually used my stick edger to make the initial cut. Then I took the shovel, went, you know, went in the same cut and just popped out the dirt. It really came out perfect. I was really surprised. I didn't think the stick edger was going to make a good enough cut. Uh, Vicky's actually the one who suggested it yesterday, trying it out. You know, because it's not really a bed redefiner per se, it's a stick edger. But uh, I made a really nice cut, perfect angle. So that's what we did. Just got everything put away. Um, we had to take off, obviously, our um, trailer sides. The way we made it though, each board on the side has three bolts. Then there's one board in the front that's bolt or screwed into this side and that side so we're able to take them off and put them up in about five minutes it's just putting the mowers back on we do have to take off the uh, backpack blower rack to put the boards on so it's all the other stuff that takes a little bit of time but the boards on and off we're able to take them or put them on take them off in about five minutes it's just like i said it's the other stuff that causes uh, the time so we're getting out of here for the day we're going to go eat dinner uh, just kind of chill the rest of the night. I have to go back to work tomorrow for three days at the tree service. It, it's at the point where it's physically painful to me to to do it because I we now know 100% we can fill those days in. We're still getting calls for mowing. We're getting calls for mulch jobs, uh, all kinds of different jobs, and. Um, we could fill in that time no problem at all so it's man it's killing me to even go there but all right everyone if you liked the video hit like subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below let me know everything i'm doing wrong and keep the edges clean boys